when I grew up in the church, the sinners was not supposed to have the same atmosphere with the saints. You had to be able to se separate the two. So I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication. And that's totally real. Like, what do a pastor look like at a party like that in any type of case? Let's go. Man on man, woman on woman, he on she. But maybe he'd have to lay some hands on somebody. Maybe he'd have to save some souls. I know he got a contract with Revolt, so I'm just like, it, it, it's just real strange that he would be found at any kind of Diddy party or any kind of uh, place with Diddy unless it's in a business atmosphere. Yeah, I totally understand where he's coming from. If you're in business with anybody, you would want to meet at a business office. If you're going to a party, then you're going to meet at a club or the after-hour spot. It just makes sense. So now what he's doing is he's making... He, 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 man, he's making the Christians look real bad right about now. Okay, yeah, I hear where Gene coming from, and that's exactly how I feel. And in the comments, I see that's how y'all feel, too. So let's go over here and check out this Jaguar White. This is kind of old, but let's check it out what she was saying. Day party. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I, <laughs> you know. Do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister on Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about T.D. Jakes. <laughs> like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. I, but I didn't, for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Yeah, that alone right there make you trip out. Like, what Tyler Perry doing coming in church laying hands on people for? You know, like, is he a pastor? Like, what's going on? Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred, and I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop, and he said, ah! Bishop Jakes was at a Diddy party. There could only be two reasons. Money or sex. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. And you've been to these parties, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I was there when he was doing the white parties in the Hamptons in the old nine yards. So I know what goes on at the parties. If, you know, they probably got a little bit more freakier, you know, as time went on, you know, because they got to the point where as that they didn't even care. It used to be secretly, you know, where people used to go to, you know, separate rooms and different rooms and they wasn't doing that out in the public. And that's real. That's probably why these parties go back as far as 25 years plus, you know, everything back in the day was done on the low and just people just got money crazy and money happy. They don't care. Men kissing men and all this other stuff. That's just crazy. So why do you think he was going to these parties? I think that he's going to the Diddy parties, you know. Bruh. <laughs> if he's going, well, we know he's going to the Diddy parties. And I know that it's, <laughs> I know what usually happens at the Diddy party, or what we told this happened at the Diddy parties. Maybe he need to see it for himself, man. Maybe he need to go there and really be involved in some things that could help save some individuals while they going to those parties. Or 
<laughs> now see right there that was a stretch too because it's like come on man all they got to do is come to church on sunday you don't got to go where they doing saying that to talk to nobody you wouldn't even find yourself around all them demons if you was called by god or maybe he just going to man it, it, it's it's hard it's hard to even talk about why would you find a, a religious man you know when you know that the the saints supposed to separate themselves from the sinners. And why would a religious man like himself be at a party, which is ain't nothing but sin that's going on, bro? Whether it's drinking, maybe fornicating, maybe, like I said, men on men, women on women. It, it, it's hard to, 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 to put in perspective unless he's involving himself what is actually going on at the parties.